Welcome to Travel Talk. Austria, a country of cows, castles, canyons, this thing, and so much more. But there is one thing they are definitely not, and they'll be the first to tell you, and that is Germany. Spoiler alert, we also went there. It also seems quite important that people know there are not any kangaroos here and there are t-shirts and other products for sale everywhere to remind you in case you are American or simply forgot. But they do keep some things in adorable packages. Look at that tree and its sweater. With the intro behind us, let's see what the admittedly breathtaking country has for us. First of all, no, I did not go to Vienna. Perhaps it'll be a future endeavor. Instead, I spent the trip nestled high in the Alps in Tyrol near Innsbruck. And as a budget traveler, I must say, Austria is not a budget country. This entire trip would not have been possible without the help of a good friend and an even better couch. The hills are alive with the sound of Money, free accommodation, and a wealth of hospitality were the only things keeping this trip within budget. So, how did I get here? I flew into Munich. Yes, that Munich. I was there for the last day of Oktoberfest, and no, I didn't go. It was way too expensive. Tents were going for $50 a night. I ain't got that kind of money lying around. If I wanted to sleep in a tent, I would have stayed home. Also, curveball. You can go surfing in Munich. Word of wisdom, have euros on your person before you go. You don't need a lot, but 50 will save you a lot of trouble that first day. My friend had to jumpstart that hospitality train earlier than expected because of my lack of physical monies. Uh, yeah, cards not so prevalent in Austria or Germany. You will need cash, not at legitimate grocery stores or gas stations, but Many corner shops take exclusively cash, so cash is king. Anyway, landed in Munich, uh, was about seven Benjis, had a beer, watched some surfing, saw some intimidating buildings, saw a fountain. Yeah, it was time to go. $20 and a two hour Flix bus ride and I was there. By the way, round trip train fare between the two cities, 80 euros. Yeah, not for me. I got off at this gas station, down the street from that bus station. Yeah, eat that pickle platform fees. Parking on the street at 5 a.m., that's free. Anyway, saw some cows, castles, mountains, castles on mountains, mountains, on castles, on cows, the pressure from which is what makes that tasty chocolate we all love so much. This place had a super cash stroll by Mozart's house uh, and hacked these bad boys. Basically, I enjoyed endless eye candy until I got eye diabetes and couldn't look at anything else without having the image of the Don in bed with a woman his own age or just the Don in bed in general held over an eye to even things out and bring me back to realistic expectations for life. In short, Austria is a real life postcard that has no business existing in this sad, depressing world and too beautiful for my uncultured Yankee eyes. So naturally, I loved it.
If you like this content and you'd like to see more like it, please like, comment, and subscribe.